Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, the precious Bible, and turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Psalms. I love God's songbook. The book of Psalms, Psalm number 145. Today I want us to look at verse number 5 as our text verse of Scripture. Listen to what the Bible says here. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and thy wondrous works. My goodness, what a powerful scripture. Get that good cup of hot coffee. Hey, let's sit together. We'll have a wonderful encounter and look at this verse of scripture. Well, praise God. What better way to start a brand new day? Fresh coffee and a wonderful word from God's Bible. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Sitting Before God. Sitting Before God. Friend, let me ask you a question. Have you experienced the amazing, sustaining power of God's awesome presence in your life? Have you waited before him in silence, meditating on his strength, uh, seeing his greatness, understanding his wisdom, and uh, just being able to understand what a majestic God that he is? Have you learned how important it is to spend uh, quiet moments, be still, and know that he's God, spending quiet moments before him to give you strength for a new day and a blessed hope for tomorrow? Well, friend, I believe with all of my heart that's why David remained strong in every circumstance of his life. No matter what happened because of his abiding relationship with God, throughout David's life, he was able to cope with the extreme, challenging, and heartbreaking situations that he faced because he experienced the power of being in the Father's presence, listen, each and every day. David wrote, The Lord is near to all who will call upon him. And he will fulfill the desire of those who fear him, who reverence him. He will also hear their cry and will save them. You'll read that in Psalm 145, beginning with verse 18. So today, listen, today, instead of focusing on your circumstances, instead of focusing on those things that can torment your soul, focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Discover who he is and just how much he loves you through an uninterrupted time of your sitting before him, sitting before Christ. He will strengthen you. He will help you overcome. He will mature your faith, and he will use the trials that you may be experiencing for good. Now, I didn't say the trial would be good. I said he would use them for good. He'll He'll work together for good those things that's going on in your life. And that's exactly what you need to keep you going. That's exactly why David was a man after God's own heart. And you too today can be a man or a woman after God's own heart as you sit before Christ and focus on him. Pray and ask God to help you stay focused on him and uh, you'll experience his sustaining power. What a mighty God we serve. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for the powerful devotion that you've sent our way today. Uh, devotion to remind us that instead of uh, sitting before our circumstances, instead of sitting before our problems and just moping on them, we need to sit before Christ, our great uh, strengthener. 
So God, give us the strength that we need to carry us through our circumstances, our situations, and this day. And we'll be careful to glorify you because worthy are you to be praised and honored. And we'll be careful to do that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, friend, do make a difference in your world today. Uh, what a powerful devotion today, sitting before Christ. And you and I need to do that. Friend, he'll strengthen us. He'll carry us through our circumstances. And he'll make us a better person uh, for sitting before him. And listen, when you sit before him and you get so focused on him, you'll be a powerhouse for his glory. And you'll be able to make a difference in your world. Remember, your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in what you say and in what you do. God bless you now. Have a wonderful day.